My name is David Darling. I'm a technical service advisor for the Johnstone Supply, the Balsam Group. Today we'll be going over how to properly vacuum down your system according to EPA standards. One of the first things we need to do is make sure the system is not under pressure. We can do that by simply pressing in the Schrader valve. No refrigerant came out, we're good. So now that we know there's no pressure on the system, I have gone and installed the Schrader core removal tools so that we can have a better flow uh, when vacuuming. So all you do is you get it on, you plunge this down, and you twist it counterclockwise. And you can kind of tell it's risen a little bit. Then you pull it out, close off your valve, and unscrew this portion of it. There you go. Now that your Schrader cores are removed, you need to hook up your gauges and you take your low side and you put it to your suction line. Take your high side and you put it to your liquid line. Take your vacuum line and put it to your vacuum pump and your yellow line and put it to your nitrogen purge tank. If you're in a closed environment, you can use a garden hose to exhaust your fumes out of the space that you're in. Now that the system is fully hooked up and ready to start evacuating, we need to do an EPA standard evacuation called a triple evac. First, you nitrogen purge, and you bring it down to 2,000 microns. You nitrogen purge again, bring it down to 1,000 microns. Nitrogen purge for the third time, bring it down to 500 microns or below. And then you do a 10 minute test to make sure it holds below 1,000 microns from that 500 micron point. Now that we're ready to pull the vacuum, we measure that in microns, and your tool may already have a micron gauge in it, like this set right here. Or if you're old school and you've got one of these, you might be looking at getting a micron gauge and installing it on your Schrader core removal tool. So now that we have everything hooked up and we're ready to start vacuuming, the next step is doing the triple evac which starts off with a nitrogen purge, goes to 2,000 microns, another nitrogen purge, goes to 1,000 microns, one last nitrogen purge, and then the final step that we're going on to right now, which is below 500 microns. And as you can see, it's starting to pull down pretty quickly here. This one will start going pretty soon also and then we just wait till it gets below 500 microns now as you can see we're getting close to 500 on this one but this one is still at a thousand that is due to the fact that these gauges are closer to the vacuum pump than this gauge is so now we're pretty close to 500 microns on this one. And then as soon as that happens, we're gonna isolate the gauge and close it off. And if it does not rise above 1,000 microns, then you are safe to put refrigerant into the system. So here we go. It is now isolated. Go ahead and turn that off and we're going to make sure that this does not rise above 1,000 microns. Now that we've pulled a vacuum on the system down below 500 microns, we need to put the Schrader cores back in. This is done by keeping your valve off, putting it back in, placing this fitting and tightening it back up. Now the vacuum can't release. When we open it, plunge the Schrader core down and tighten that back up. And then you are ready to back up this Allen wrench and release the refrigerant. Pulling a proper vacuum will increase the longevity and the efficiency of your system, which will ensure that your customer gets the best possible service. Johnstone Supply, the Balsam Group, is your partner in HVACR. If you'd like us to cover other tools or techniques, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.